Go to tutorials, my Andrew Buckle. This tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take brushes and use them to create new shapes. Now, first thing to do, just quickly go over here to New Layer and click OK. Now, once you've actually got a layer, now apply the brush to that and just go over here to the brush tool. And I've got some settings now. I've actually just created a just a very, very basic brush to apply. And there's lots and lots of brushes you can, of course, find and use for this approach. So you can use like card brushes and graphic extra brushes and many more that come with Photoshop as well. Now, first thing to do, just going to go over here and apply the brush. So I'm just going to, I'm using a bit of smoothing, so I'm just going to create a, not the world's greatest brush strokes, but so you can see the general idea. I've actually added them all to a layer. So I'm going to create that as a custom shape now. So once I've finished there, I'm just going to add a little few more there. Okay, so I think that's enough. What you can do then, you can actually go to select and load selection. And I'm just going to go click OK. And that's it. I've actually defined, I've got a selection now. Well, that obviously needs to have another couple of steps. And I'm just going to go to here to pass and just quickly go to make work pass. Now, tolerance of two. Again, this is one of the things you can vary. If you go something like 0.5, you get a lot of points, and it doesn't particularly always look that great either. So a two or four, I don't know, depends on your taste of what you want for the shape. Click OK. And you can see the design there now. You've got it looks it look fairly okay. So what you can do then you just go to edit and define custom shape. And you've got the custom shape there. Click OK. Right, now I'm gonna go back because I don't want that, so I'm just gonna quickly show you the actual shape itself. Select there, then go there, and now just simply use the shape option, and of course you can change the colour. So I'm just going to change the colour. You can see the design added there. Of course you could use it as pixels as well. So I'm just going to apply it once, like there, and so on and so on. Quick way of creating unusual custom shape designs, slightly more. Different than the, the usual vector shapes you get. Anyway, hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.